Good evening folks, 21st Century Caveman here. Hope everybody's well, hope everybody's happy and welcome to another episode in the series How to Make a Man Cave, She Shed, Workshop, Cabin in the Woods. Whatever label you attach, the process is exactly the same. So here you can see me clamping some timber to the outside of the doorway and there's a reason for that because today's video I'm going to be showing you um, how to batten out the walls of this building and the reason we need to batten out the walls is because we need something to fix the cladding to so before we start we're going to fix some timber stops you know for want of a better word around the perimeter of all openings for example the doorway and the window now I've decided to leave all of the columns of the building until I've cladded them so I'm going to put them in after the event because I think it's going to be a little bit easier I've also chosen to use um, 2 by 2s uh, treated timbers. They're actually 47 by 47 millimetres. They come in various lengths. And um, they're also pressure treated against rot and fungal attack. Now you will notice that the battens run alongside the timber stops. The reason is because the battens, I'm going to be using those to fix the cladding to, whereas the other timber stops, they're basically just to sort of finish off the edges. I'll be screwing the battens into place using a combination of screws, um, and they're actually decking screws. I believe they're 65 millimeters long, so these are left over from a previous job. I'll be using those and also fixing them with some nails and basically the reason is quite simply because I was running a little bit low on the screws at this point and I just wanted to get the job done. Start fitting these blue timber battens to all vertical and horizontal edges and the reason is because they're actually being secured to the timber framework of the building and it's important to make it clear that I'm not actually fixing these simply to the, OS, uh, the OSB boards which are actually sheathed in this building because they're not going to be strong enough. So these blue timber battens then they're actually roofing battens which you'd use for fixing tiles to a roof. Um, they normally come in a couple of different sizes. I've opted for the 50mm width because it gives me plenty of meat to nail the uh, to nail the cladding into. And the other thing is, of course, when you're nailing the cladding into these timber battens, it's important to try and stagger it to make sure you don't split the wood. Now, at this stage, I'm not going to bother about fitting, um, you know, sorting out the corners. I'm going to do that after the event. Thank you. 
Now as you can see in this particular clip I'm making sure that all cut edges are treated with an appropriate wood treatment to prevent against rot and fungal attack. Now in this clip you'll probably notice that I've actually started already cladding the sides of this building in feather edge boards but that's something which I'll cover in another video. So here I'm just stapling back the waterproof membrane just to keep it out of the way. I might leave it like that, I might cut it back, I'm not really sure at this stage, but we can cover that a little bit further down the line.
So to finish off then, we're just covering all cut ends and exposed edges in a timber preservative. Thank you for watching.